So pag narinig po natin ang iba na nagsabi ng God is good, ano po ang ating response? All the time. Ama? Sige, God is good and all the time. Pero isipin po natin mga kapatid, is it really at all the times that God is good? The year 2020 has only just begun, just three months, and the world has already suffered many natural disasters, tragedies, deaths, regional conflicts, and a virus outbreak. For example, a locust invasion in Eastern Africa, in our country, the Taal volcano eruption, Turkey earthquakes with 6.8 magnitude with 41 deaths, Kashmir avalanche, Australia's deadly bushfire which killed 1 billion native animals and 30 people died. Flood hits in Indonesia which 83 people died. And uh, pandemic coronavirus. Kung saan tayo nasasuffer lahat. And as of yesterday, March 25, 2020, according to my research, the cases is um, almost half a million with the death of 21,174 and affected 198 countries. Masabi pa rin ba natin na mabuti ang Diyos po sa lahat ng pagkakataon? Si God, ang ating bang Panginoon ay laging mabait sa atin. I believe God is good all the time. Amen? The book of Psalms declare that God is good all the time. God is good all the time. He is good whatever circumstances that we are in. Look with me in your Bible, open it in Psalms chapter 73, and we will be reading the Word of God from verse number 1 to verse number 16. Mahalik po tayong lahat ay tumayo. Basahin po natin ang salita ng Diyos. Sundan nyo na naman po ako sa aking mga mata at sa verse 16 tayo po ay magsasabay sa bayo. Psalms 73, the Psalms of Asap in verse number 1. Truly, God is good to Israel, even to such a rock of clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My step had well nigh split. For I was envious of the foolish when I, was, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is fear. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain, violence covered them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness, they have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh to the earth. Therefore his people return hither and waters of a full cup are wrung out of them. And they say, How doth God know? And is their knowledge is the, is in the most high? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world, the increase in riches. Verily I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. For all the days long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. If I say I will speak thus, Behold, I should offend against the generation of thy children. And on verse 16, altogether read, When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Let's, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, maraming salamat po sa pagkakataon na kami po ay makadulog po sa inyong trono ng biyaya. Panginoon, salamat po sa pagkabasa po ng inyong salita. Sa aming po pag-aralan ngayong hapon, pero po ang siyang manguna sa amin, ang banyo ng Espiritu po ang magturo po sa amin ng mga katotohanan na nanggagaling sa inyong salita. And as the psalmist declare, you are good at all the times and our response should be, trust you at all the times, Lord. And all these things you ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated po, mga kapatid. Psalm 73 is attributed not to David. This is not the Psalms of David, but this is a Psalms of Asaph. It is also called Book 3 of the Psalms. These Psalms demonstrated the difference one's acknowledgement of God can make in his or her spiritual outlook. And in this very chapter, mga kapatid, we see that Asap, the psalmist, is honest in describing his envy, yung kanyang inget, saan? Of prosperous, wicked people. Nainggit siya doon sa mga 
unregenerated, wicked people. They were prosperous. But the overall chapter, kung tatapusin ko natin ang, ang uh, chapter nito till verse number 28, teaches us that God is good whatever circumstances that we are in. And because of God's goodness, we must trust Him at all times. Because He is good, our response is to trust Him at all times. And one thing that we can see here, in verse number 1, Truly, God is good to Israel, even to such our hope of clean heart. Because God is good, let us always, always, always trust Him. In what circumstances should we trust God? In verse number 1, it says here, again, Truly, totoong totoo, God is good to Israel, even to such our hope of clean heart. We must trust God when things seem good. And in verse number 1, to whom God is good in this verse? In Israel, in His own, and in New Testament, we Christians, we are God's people. God is good to us. The book of Psalms is not just a psalm, but it's also a historical record of the goodness of God to His people. And the Bible is the proof, mga kapatid, that God is good to His people. God is good to His own. And our response is to trust Him for all the things that God has done in our life. Pag po tayong maging bulag kapag tayo pinagpapala ng Panginoon. Kapag maganda yung ating mga sitwasyon, nalilimutan natin kung bakit meron tayong mga gantong pagkakataon. Kung bakit tayo uh, merong magandang sitwasyon, pinagpapala tayo, nandun tayo sa tuktok ng kasaganahan. Pag po tayong maging bulag na dahil sa ating sariling galing. But we need to trust God that it is because the goodness of God kung bakit tayo pinagpapala kung bakit tayo kung ano yung meron tayo ngayon not only that mga kapatid not only to trust God when things seems good but we need to trust God even when life seems unfair that is in verse verse number 2 to verse number 12 makikita natin dito mga kapatid in verse number 2 look with me it says there but this conjunction but but as for me but for the author, he said, My feet were almost gone. My step had well nice sleep. Para na akong babagsak. Para akong madudulas. Why? He has paid close attention to prosperous wicked. And the, the word wicked here, in verse number 3, For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Foolish and wicked is the same thing. And whenever the sa in the book of Psalms says it's wicked, it talks about the hidden, the unregenerated, the unbelievers. See, the psalmist Asap, ang author ng Psalm 73, siya ay na, na, na envy siya, na iinggit siya, nagpo-focus siya doon sa mga, sa kanyang mga kaaway, sa mga unregenerated. Based and based on his observation, in verse number 3, 4, 5, 6, hanggang 7 and 8, etong mga wicked na to, they are healthy, in verse number 4, for there are no bonds in their death, but the strength is firm, They're, they were strong, they are, it seems that they are trouble free, they are not in trouble as other men, in verse number 5, neither are they played like other men. So they tend to be proud, insensitive, and self-centered, in verse number 6. Therefore, Dahil ganun sila, dahil malakas sila, dahil parang wala silang problema, dahil healthy sila, in verse number 6, Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. Tila baga ang kanilang sinusuot. Parang ang, ang violence ay suot-suot nila. Ganun din ang kanilang pride. They become so proud, insensitive, and self-centered. And in verse number 7, their eyes stand out with the fatness. They have more than heart could wish. Kung ano man ang gusto nila, gusto nilang makuha. They have, and they have the sense of entitlement that, that surpasses earthly bounds and leads them to lay claim to heaven as well. In verse number 9, they said, they say, they set their mouth against the heavens and their tongues will it to the earth. Para bagang, hindi sapat ang mundo para ang kinin nila. Pati ang langit inaangkin nila. And in verse number 10, 
Therefore, these people returned leader in waters of the full cup and drank out of them. And others want to join them. In other words, the wicked is prosperous while the righteous is suffering. And sometimes our brother, my brother and sister in Christ, life seems so unfair. Parang hindi perang buhay. But we, we Christian, we, dahil tayo ay anak ng Diyos, we must trust God even when life seems so unfair. Amen? Amen. Kahit hindi natin naiintindihan, kahit ang tingin mo sa buhay ay unfair, kahit yung mga wicked, they're prospering and the righteous is suffering, we need to trust God. At lagi tayong dapat maniwala at lagi ako maniniwala na alaman natin ang buhay ay unfair. Lagi itong mabait si Lord. Hindi po tayo exempted sa hirap, hindi po tayo exempted sa gutom, sa pighate, sa lungkod, sa depresyon, sa problema. Hindi tayo exempted na maputulan ng kuryente, maputulan ng tubig, mawalan ng pera, mawalan ng mahal sa buhay, mabroken hearted. Hindi tayo exempted, lalo na sa mga panahon na ito, maging positive po sa virus. Hindi ibig sabihin, kristyano ka, hindi kang magpapositive sa virus. May mga, di ba, sa mga nakikita natin, may pastor nang namatay dahil sa virus. And yet, mga kapatid, we need to believe that God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Even though when life seems so unfair. And not only that we need to trust God when it seems the circumstances is good and when life is so, so unfair, we must trust God. We must trust Him even our good deeds seems unrewarded. Dapat natin pagkatiwalaan ng Panginoon. Kahit para yung ating mga mabubuting gawa ay hindi rewarded. Unrewarded. In verse number 13, it says there, Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. This talks about the good testimony of the author, of the writer. In verse number 14, For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. See that word, see the figurative language that is used here? Plagued and chastened. Salut at pinapansya every morning. In other words, every day. The hardships. It, it speak about a hardship na pinagdadaanan niya. In verse number 15, If I say, I will speak thus, behold, I shall depend against the great generation of my children. It talks about that he just, he just that problem na pinagdadaanan niya, ba? hindi niya, hindi niya, alam, masya, alam niya, hindi niya masyadong pinagmamalakay o sinasabi. Di ba? Marami sa mga kababayan natin, o minsan kahit mga kristyano, yung problema nila, pinagkakalanda ka nila sa Facebook, sa social media. Talagang hindi naman sa pinatago niya, no? hindi ba naman yun, yung kinikimkim. He just keep it to himself. And in verse number 16, when I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. He is aware of his very problem. He is aware kung ano mang nangyayari sa mga pagkakapaw na to. Kung sila ba ay sinusugod, sila meron ba tagutom, mahihirapan sila, hindi yung tinatakasan ng problema. And the question here, my brother and sister in Christ, have you been in the situation like this? Naranasan na po ba natin yung mga ganito pagkakataon? Meron ka bang mabigat na pagsubok na araw-araw na lang gumagambala sa iyo? Like what we are suffering today? Araw-araw tayong ginagambala ng problema ng ito. Pag kahapon, bumunta ako sa grocery. Sabi ko, alas 8 bukas ng pure gold. Sabi ko, ah, alas 7, punta ako. Pagdating ko ng alas 7, grabe, haba na ng pila. Sabi ko sa mga misis ko. Ngayon pa lang nagsisink in sa akin yung yung epekto ng ano kasi more than one hour ka na ganito sa grocery store grabe eh. sa mga ganito pa pagkakataon mga kapatid still we need to do what is right dapat natin gawin kung ano yung tama like what the psalmist declare in this passage may kita natin dito in verse number 13 very I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency keep your good testimony whatever what 
Keep doing good works. Whatever, whatever, what. Amen? Makita niyo yan yung word na vain. The meaning of vain is, walang kabuluhan. Walang kwenta. He said, Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain. Meaning, hindi siya gumagawa, kahit sa gitna ng problema, hindi siya gumagawa ng mga bagay na walang kabuluhan. My brother and sister in Christ, mga minamahal ko, make your quarantine meaningful. Make these days meaningful. Make a high of time. Maraming, may mga, may mga, maraming, sabi ko nga, nagpost ako kanina sa Facebook, Dear Christians, wala kang karapatang maboy. 66 ang books ng Bible. Take time to read. Amen? Amen. Dapat walang kristyanong mag, 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 magpo-post na boring. 67 yung tayo sa bahay namin. Diba? Ang ibig sabihin nun, wala na kasing magawa. Have a goal to read your Bible. Spend a lot of time for prayer, to prayer. Listen to spiritual songs and hymns. Watch Christian movies. Read Christian books. Listen to preachings. Manood ng mga dokumentaris. Hindi ko naman sabihin na maglaro kasi yun na yun, yun lagi-lagi ginagawa eh. Maglaro, mag-tiktok. Diba? Or the most important thing is share some winning videos. Marami po yan. Verses. And it, say, within this same verse, in verse number 13, and wash my hands in innocency. Meaning purity, dalisay, Wag mong itaya yung pagiging dalisay mo bilang isang kristyano para sa karangyaan, para sa pagiging famous. What do I mean? In other words, maraming mga kristyano sila, sinasalang-alang nila yung kanilang magandang testimony para makasabay lang sila sa uso. Dahil uso mag-complain sa gobyerno, mag-complain ka din sa gobyerno. Dahil uso to, tatayaan mo yung pagiging dalisay mo para, ma- para makasabay ka sa agos. No, mga kapatid. Keep doing good works for we are God's workmanship. In verse number 15, don't be the one who make others stumble. Diba? Huwag po tayo yung maging dahilan para yung iba magduda, hindi magtiwala sa Diyos. Or in other words, mag-spread ng rumors na hindi naman totoo. O mas applicable sa akin, mag-share sa internet na hindi naman reliable yung mga source. Or mag-spread ng doubts. Don't spread fake news. Don't spread doubts. And in verse number 16, When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Keep doing this. Keep Keep your testimony good. Even when it seems unrewarded. Mga kapatid, may isang kata na ganito po yung lyrics. It goes like this. Uh, this is the time to trust. Time to remember that our Lord is faithful to His own. If we hope, we shall yet be praising once again. That is, silence never means that we are alone. God is good. Trust Him. Trust God, not just in our own, not our, not just in our poverty, but in our prosperity. Trust God, even when life seems so unfair. Trust God, even our good deeds seems unrewarded. The question, the question in this moment is, do you trust God in this very moment? Pinagkat, kung pinag tayong sa ating mga kristyano, kung pinagkatiwalaan mo yung sarili mo sa Panginoon, sa kaligtasan, will you trust Him that He will protect you, He will bless you, He will keep you, He will guide you, and He will provide your needs? Kung pinagkatiwalaan natin siya sa ating salvation, mapagkakatiwalaan po natin ng Diyos sa mga bagay na kailangan natin. At kung sa, at yung Kung meron man sa atin, meron man tayong kilala, meron tayong kilala, na hindi pa nila pinagkatiwalaan ng Panginoon sa kanilang buhay. Hindi mo patiyak kung langit ang yung tutunguan kapag ikay binawian ng kamatayan. Pagkatiwala po natin ang, Panginoon, ang sarili natin sa Panginoon. Tumay po tayong lahat tayo po yung mananaman.